Right, good morning. Day after yesterday. No, why am I saying that? So, it's going to rain by for dinner. So this needs to be gone by dinner. While, while we're, you were away too, we um, had a mishap. Thanks. And good morning. It is Saturday the 19th? Yes. All right, hopefully uh, you can hear him because he's got his mic in, as do I. Two, two. Can you hear me now? One, two. Can you hear me now? I hope so, because these mics are very expensive. Yeah, I can see you. <laughs> Uh, it's a Max and Paddy reference, by the way. I'm not calling me dad a... A lot, a lot of our views will get that. Good. <laughs> but yeah, so, as uh, I told you yesterday, I got all this done, and we came back. we just come back now from like picking some stuff up from Fairwood, so we just had a bit of a backfill off camera. So this part's backfilled, just a bit of that corner. So, reducing these piles. And today, it is get the rest of the brick and block work in and get it backfilled. We have got the wacker so we can't do that, but we can do as much as we bloody well can. With this, we're going to see, we're going to, we'll figure that part out, but um, what we're thinking is just do it 100 now, and if we need stepping back, we can step it back above damp then. Because it's just for the, make room for the kitchen units, as Dad said, so that's not a problem. But yeah, so that's the plan. Dad's got a mix in already. We've got loads of bricks loaded out. Dad's getting some more. I'll help him in a minute. Need to get a few more blocks, and we're away. So, enough dilly dally, and I'll get you set up and uh, let's get this knocked out, shall we? So, as, as it. In the comments about these bricks, these London brick, they had 10 packs, and four of them were usable. God. I'd say a third of these are not to scratch. Yeah. Uh... Trying to put the crap ones on the bottom course, but we've got a lot over because we allowed for four courses. Yeah. I hope you can hear him. But yeah, so London brick are just the biggest no-no. I think the last time I was using these properly was in college because they were just crap hand-me-downs that we could use for building. So that's up to the stands of, of London brick nowadays. And like Dad said, we've been struggling to get any usable ones, trying to get them in the bottom course. Oof, yeah. So as a quick test, how are you finding these uh, mics? Okay, because we haven't been editing this for a few weeks yet, so... Yeah. So, we, we need you guys to let us know if you can notice a difference too. Because obviously we've got these for you lot. Be thankful. So yeah, so we're hoping these are working. If not, let us know and we're going to try and get that sorted. You're getting, you're getting a mumbling in the garden house, 4K mumbling. Yeah. Right, alright, I'll get you set up on time lapse now.
And there we have it. That's just filling up the holes now before we have to let the camera charge for this bit, but this bit's all done now. Brick and block work is done. Happy days. Um, while, while we're, you were away too, we um, had a mishap. I accidentally knocked the uh, the wire, so I had to just go fix that with the junction box, but it's all done and dusted. We're ready for backfilling now. I've already got the first bower in and I've got a setup ready. So I'll be doing this while dad tackles that drain. And then once he's done with that, we'll get started. Thoughts? When's dinner? Well, uh, now. <laughs> right, that's my thought. Gonna have dinner. You were you heard it from the man himself, dinner time, so I'll catch you after then. Okay. There's our pipe which I said we connect on to at a later date. Nice straight piece. This here is the Y. It comes across here. So it comes across here to the rodder. And it also takes a left up to that mess there. So this is our concrete in but cracked. So we're gonna put that other gully on because it, this is a back in that gully, which is not we're going to transfer that gully onto it, put all the new fittings onto there and do away with this thing. What I've done is, instead of just smashing this out and cutting it off, I've ducked behind this to see if the pipes carry on. Now I'm down 700 there and there's no sign of any pipes and that one, that one's only 450 down, so I'm well below. So I don't think, I think it's the end of the line, so what I'm going to do is knock. Knock this down, follow the pipe down, and see if there's a, see if I can find a wire or anything at the bottom. Um, also, a good way of checking is there's no external stacks on the house, and if you look in the roof, there's no soil soil pipe sticking about the roof, so there's no internal soil pipes inside. Looks to me like it's two bedrooms on the back of the house. Yeah, look, looks like these houses were designed with no bathrooms at the back. So I'm thinking all the bathroom and stuff at the front of the house. I should imagine the age of the house it just had one bathroom. No one sweets or anything. So yeah there's nothing. There's no no foul soil pipe coming down there. So I'm pretty sure there's nothing under the ground. We didn't find we didn't come across anything at this end. And that the one for the conservatory was just an extension of this. That's why it's a back in that gully. And they've just bodged together that gully when they did it. So what we're going to do is put the gully in at the same height, put an extension on it so we can cover it over for the slab and just connect new pipe down to the, uh, down to this. This little magic piece of equipment. Absolutely brilliant then, just push straight into the clay and then you're away with your plastic. Got our fittings, got a bit of pipe, a bit of pipe over there. And once I've double checked this, that's getting chopped and the new pipe's going in. Meanwhile Alex is getting getting the uh, DMOT around. So both on a job each, getting there bit by bit. So I'll put you back up here and carry on with the time lapse of this train work. Right, I'm back. After a bit of checking, a bit of cutting, we have 
Get the brush out. Um, just a hand brush. Right, it's after about an hour's pretty messing about. There's our pipe. That's our main going out. As you can see, between my feet. That's where we're going to cut it. And then we've got this this sweeping bend, which is an old rod and eye. And there's our, our Y going off to that gully. So, new gully, new pipe, down to here, into a shallow bend, so it can be rodded, rodable gully. The, um, I've, as you can see, it's encased in concrete, so it's took some getting out. There's the other side, which is way, deep, way deeper, no sign of a pipe, and also, put you down there. You probably can't see there, but there's no other pipe attached to that. I've had my hand down there, and it sweeps round, and then it's wet and muddy underneath. But yeah, so this can all come out. And can come out to yeah, chop that off nice and neat. Plug that rascal in and renew. I'm just gonna have to knock some of this bloody concrete out of the way. It's right in the bloody way. I don't know what all this concrete's all about, but it's just the whole lot's encased in really thick concrete. That's 18 inches thick. So yeah. Uh, um, let's get this gully in. Right, here's the carnage. I've got the mics on now, I'm currently almost got the camera against your mouth. There you go. I'm gonna put a new top on that. We have an extension for it, so it comes up out of the concrete. I've tried to get that as low as possible to get everything underneath the insulation and what have you. So we've cut everything back, you will have seen another time lapse until the battery died. So all the clay smashed out now, all the crap stuff. We've cut right back to the concrete footing. Band seal because the other that fancy pushing one won't fit because the pipe is slightly too small. So band seal into a bend, straight pipe, and then this, this adjustable um, coupling, which was on before, good condition, so we've reused that. That's very handy that. We've dropped the gully down, like I say, and we can put an extension on it now. It's a rodable gully, and that's been okay by building control to leave the gully in. So there you go. That took about 
two hours longer than I thought it would as usual. Same old thing. Quarter past three now. Yeah, so we need, we've got a good hour now just getting some stone. I'll um, set the laser level up, check what height we're going to because we're going to be coming up above this block work because we are following this. As you can see, house DPC and a good 30 mil screed on top there. So we're going to have to put a piece of timber around the edge like we usually do. But we've actually got this to screed off. Um, the, only diff the only downside is we're level, the house isn't. So when that hole comes out of this side, we I think our floor is going to be slightly higher than that floor. So it'll probably need levelling just to blend it back into the original floor because it's going to be level drop back round to level in this side. So it's going to need a bit of levelling somewhere. So this is going to be the biggest area. So we'll get the biggest area flat and it's just a small area to level then. So Alex has been getting all the MOT in, which is damp, but not too wet. Um, I'm going to join him now. We're going to get some pipe bedding around this pipe and get it backfilled. So let's get cracking. So ready for pipe bedding now? Yeah, let's get this last hour in. Is knife? Hmm? Is knife? I don't know where it is. Tell you what, it's almost flooded the uh, back of the van, these bags. Yeah. The Milwaukee's full of all nice grey sludge. Start at the top. Pardon? Start at the top. Start at the top. Ready? Yeah, not in the gully. <laughs> Oh, you get the other bag. Hang on a sec. Still down a minute. Um, where's that point in the trowel? Um, I hope it's not buried like your trowel was. It's a uh, trowel was buried. Just found it then. We also buried a hand bush when we were digging and we found it today. That was a bush, wasn't it? Yeah. What I'll do is throw some of that sand on top. Yeah. Before the big stuff goes on top. And we'll just. Yeah. Right, back to town, that's where we get the left hour in.
right, there we go, that's today done. And as you can see, that was not a lot of progress at all, really. Pretty crap day. I didn't even get half of the uh, slab filled in, so... We have to pull my finger out when we come back here, so... Fish one the next day. So after a lousy day yesterday, working on another job, getting soaked all day, we're back. Still got a lot to get in here to bring it up to level. Alex is currently at the front, there's the pile. So it's going to rain by for dinner, so this needs to be gone by dinner. There we have it. You have to excuse any audio issues. Mike's not in, but so you missed that last little bit, but it's all in now, and we're ready for whacker in it. So fingers crossed that it doesn't bloody sink, because obviously it's been raining quite a bit these last few days. So, but push comes to shove, we've got a, a good lot of sand to uh, blind this with. So, and just one little thing as well. There's the. There's the gully with its extender on. So there we have it. We are ready to whack her. Here we go, nice and flat, and from what it seems, it didn't sink so much, so happy days. So I just need to sandblind that, and if you just come with me a sec, I'll take you over to the front, where the skip's just arrived. So, very happy days. Now we can get all that shit moved, put all the crap from our work in there now, and just get start getting that driveway back bit by bit. So, happy days. Bit, bit more progress, that's what we want. And it's a nice day as well, so we'll be able to get 
that sun blinded and wackered and hopefully get the viscreen over it too because we're still waiting for the insulation. Dad needs to um, ring them up and see about that because we're waiting on that now. Until we get the insulation we can't make any more progress after the sand and viscreen so fingers crossed, not thumbs up, fingers crossed. But that's it for now, yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Right, you probably picked that up better than my voice. That bloody airplane. Anyway, we're onto the blinding. Timber set. I've set the timber slightly lower than the house floor, probably about 10 mil, so that when we put this concrete floor in, we don't have water going back into the house. We've got to have it run away slightly. So 10 mil fall on that is okay. <clears throat> so we need to bring it up to 200 with that sand. That's nice silver sand. I've started here. So start blinding, a bit low there, that's about 210 there. I'm going to work my way back with a six foot level, then go over it and whack it again. That's going to be um, going to be put in bubble wrap so we can put it in the concrete. Um, actually, we're going to need another one of them. It's already low, so we're going to need another extension on top of that, so that one can stay in. The next one, we'll have the bubble wrap around it, so we can leave it proud, concrete round it. When the concrete's gone off, take it out, cut the bottom off it and sink it down so it's level with the floor or where, where well I'll leave it for the floor people to do so it's they might want it a bit lower they might want to go over the top of it with something I don't know like maybe put a little inspection cover over the top of it I don't know anything about that but we'll leave that loose so it can be changed after we're not just going to concrete it in solid so um yeah, I'm on with the blinding. I'm going to get the rest of it blinded today. Insulation's getting delivered tomorrow, but we haven't been given a time. So a big wagon's bringing that. Not sure when. So I'm not booking the concrete for tomorrow, just in case. Because we need this concrete to be going in about half past two at the latest. It's going to take a good half hour to get it in. And then probably an hour, hour and a half, to get it levelled between us. So this is the bit I've been dreading the floor. and It's, it's taken a lot of time. And it's been very hard work. But you just got to persevere and get on with it. So I'll go back on time lapse again, probably swap ends, and um, 
hopefully get this prepped today and get the viscreen in so if it does rain it's all protected oh yeah one other thing the amount of rain we've had is ridiculous we've even had a leak on the porch we've just built so that goes needs i need to go and look at that but anyway when i was whackering this it's 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 that good stuff it's only a bit wet that corner and a bit wet, bit wet the rest of it's great the whack has gone over it fine so usually with the, if our god gets too wet you get bogged down in it but we've done okay so we're going to get a load more of this sanding get it nice and flat ready for our insulation tomorrow i think i might be knocking that coarser brick out in the door as well check and put it in the right place there so that insulation can go through too not just the slab but um, we'll see we'll see what we get to when we get to it so catch you in a bit How do you feel? Um, great. <laughs> oh, that was a tough one, but there we go. That's that all in. Big slab, that. Yeah, it's big. 2.6 meters in that, and it's only a four inch slab. And yeah. you've probably put 10 barrels of sand in to blind it. So if we hadn't checked that with a laser level, that'd have been 10, 10 extra barrels of concrete. And you're talking like, a lot of money. Oh yeah. Of concrete, probably another half a cube. Builds up. Cube. But there we go. Dad's been doing that. And copyright in some of these. Ringtone. Ringtone. <laughs> um, where was I? Yeah. 
And if you can see, there's not a lot of orange because we've got a way we're using the sand that we dug up, mostly. That sand we dug up, that's a busy building sand. Yeah, it was really good stuff. Yeah, so I'll just go in the skip, which I'll take you around in a second and show you that. Because while he was doing that, I moved all this, which <laughs> I thought would have took me like 20 minutes because I thought it was just like, maybe like two, three ton. It was a lot more than that. <laughs> Is this an eight ton skip, Dad? Is this an eight tonner? Yes. There you go, it's an eight ton skip and that's how full it is. And doing all that just by spade, one man. <laughs> that was hard work, <laughs> but that's all moved now. And then once that's all dried up tomorrow, I'll give that a good sweep up and get that cleaned. And then that's just more, more progress at the front. So we've gone from two big piles of crap to one skip. But yeah, so that's it for today. Thank God. Let's get tidied up and then we'll uh, catch you tomorrow for the rest and fingers crossed for some insulation. Yeah. Now we're done today. I forgot we were gonna get this rolled out. But, there we go. So that's ready for installation, which, fingers crossed for us arrives quite early tomorrow. But until then, we're gonna come here, get this leveled out and start loading some block out. Just do what we can until that arrives, so, catch you tomorrow. <laughs>